I've been homeless since I was 18, and it's been pretty stressful, to be honest. I've been homeless now for four years, one month, and 25 days. I mean, how did I go from riches to rags? Aside from families, women are the most underserved population when it comes to homelessness in Denver. So we kind of felt like it was our calling to step up and get them the protection that they deserve, the dignity that they deserve. Most of our guests first come to Catholic Charities through Samaritan House downtown, where they stay in our newly renovated emergency overnight shelter for women. Those with children move on to the remodeled family floor. The women who are single either stay at Samaritan House downtown or move to Samaritan House Smith or the newly opened Samaritan House 48th. With our two shelters in Fort Collins and Greeley, Catholic Charities is now the largest shelter provider for women in Colorado. Prior to the pandemic, we could take up to 180 women. Now we're pretty close to 700. Susan stayed at the Samaritan House Emergency Overnight Shelter downtown after her car, where she had been living, was impounded. They brought me here with sheets and blankets and towels, and they got me some clothes. All of this is theirs because all my stuff was in my car. So I have nothing, I have no makeup, nothing. The fresh flowers arranged in a styrofoam cup on her bed hint to the homemaker Susan once was in Greenwood Village. I used to ski and bike ride and rollerblade and all that. But then Susan's world turned upside down. My son committed suicide. And um, so that just destroyed me. And um, I had been looking for a job, but then that happened. You know, I was doing great. And then just everything crashed and burned. This is not easy, but it is safe. And if they're in this shelter, then we can protect them. If they're on the streets, we can't. Large congregate shelters are not a long-term answer, but they certainly give them opportunities to get on that trajectory of recovery. Recovery is hard. But here, the women begin to pick up the pieces and rebuild their lives. Our cooks and volunteers provide three meals a day at each of our shelters, and everything is made in the Samaritan House kitchen downtown. They have breakfast at 6 o'clock every morning. They have lunch at noon and then dinner at 5.30. So we send that truck over three times a day with those fresh foods. With the growth of our food operations, we are preparing to serve one million meals in the coming year for our shelter guests and the Catholic Charities Early Childhood Education families. Our chefs are over here daily looking what's in this cooler so that we can supplement our menus and be part of food recovery. Catholic Charities also cares for women at the Roadway Shelter. The city of Denver owns this former motel, and during the pandemic, the city turned to Catholic Charities to run it as a shelter. We get to know everyone because we see them daily. We do wellness checks. To help someone to improve their life situation, they have to know someone else cares. Knowing someone is listening can be the turning point for our women. She's able to remind me that it, it's not my fault when something goes wrong and it's just like the push through it. I, I think it's a God thing. I, I think we truly believe that we are seeing the face of Jesus in everybody that we serve. Homelessness is not easy to solve. The big picture is overwhelming. But as we approach it one woman at a time and provide safety, dignity, and hope to every unhoused woman who walks into one of our shelters, we will help women transform their lives.